Hi everyone, uh, Prof. Muhammad Shah with you. Uh, our main subject today uh, is about uh, solar uh, uh, air dryer uh, performance model. It's about uh, the use of uh, flat blade solar collector uh, for uh, drying uh, purposes or process heat. Uh, first of all, you have to open your MATLAB. Open MATLAB first and then go to your destination folder from here. This is my working folder, okay? So you have to uh, uh, copy your model after you download it and put it in your working folder and you have to go to your path from here then click here to uh, sort by name and uh, group by type okay select the group by type so you will organize everything here okay um, you have psychometric chart you have air properties in excel sheets so you can deal with you can uh, uh, you can model and, and uh, make your uh, specific correlations related to psychrometric chart. Uh, for uh, flat blade air dryer, you just drag and drop here. Okay, this is our main model. Uh, double clicking. Okay, uh, model browser view model uh, browser. Check all of this. Okay, set your simulation time into zero. And now we have here our uh, main model let's go inside okay we have here uh, two main blocks this is your air flat plate solar collector okay and this is your dryer unit we have to specify or assign some inputs in order to uh, uh, extract our main uh, result just double clicking here okay and you have to assign some uh, parameters for related to flat plate solar collector what is your operating hours you are going to deal with and uh, solar radiation we can control this uh, automatically or manually in this case we are going to control it uh, manually wind speed for losses uh, to the ambient uh, what is your ambient temperature uh, elite uh, collector temperature what is your elite air temperature okay um, this is what is your re relative humidity uh, of the inlet conditions Suppose you have uh, elite air temperature at uh, 25 degrees Celsius and um, uh, the elite conditions of relative humidity is about uh, um, 30%. And uh, what is your um, uh, mass flow rate through the solar field? Because this is a performance model. What is your mass flow rate? Okay. This is a, a critical. Uh, uh, assignment you have to choose your um, inputs carefully because this is performance uh, solar field area what is your suppose I have uh, two meters two square meters okay a uh, number of grass cover per each it's one uh, what is your tilt angle uh, emittance a plate edge losses uh, bottom losses I will keep this because this is standards I will keep this uh, uh, this is a channel here because this is air heater so we need to uh, assign our channel because it is not tubes it's a channel uh, uh, suppose a channel width what is your channel width in centimeter okay suppose I have one meter okay and the height uh, just one one centimeter uh, if you have fins what is your fin thickness it's about five millimeter fin thickness plate material uh, if it is in copper or it's up to your material you can study a uh, type here your uh, conductivity of your material through the solar field and uh, it will be calculated for dryer units okay this is very important what is your mass uh, feed mass suppose i have uh, apples or uh, bananas or whatever and i would like to dry this for example, suppose I have uh, 10 kilograms of banana. So this is weight basis uh, moisture content in your banana. This is a simple. type here 75 okay hit apply 
and uh, water uh, uh, this is product moisture uh, 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 this is your product uh, moisture could it that you or your target this is your target I need about 11% of the product 11% uh, only 11% wet and uh, the rest is solids or dried okay and outlet uh, uh, humidity surely it, it would be around 90 or 100 okay let's hit apply and let's go inside and see let's hit run and see this is a uh, main uh, block of the flat plate solar air heater and this is your code double clicking on this you will find this code you can use it and represent it in your search work and these are your inputs and these are your uh, outputs and this is your psychometric chart this is inlet uh, inlet and outlet um, this is inlet conditions uh, to the flat plate and uh, this one is uh, your outlet conditions which should be uh, uh, maintained towards uh, a dryer unit and this is our dryer unit these are your uh, inputs and we have here our main outputs let's let's hit run and see just a random example i would like to examine um, uh, the results okay finished okay under my specifications this is outlet collector temperature uh, it, it, uh, it's about uh, 64 degrees celsius mean billet temperature uh, thermal power in kilowatt uh, storage energy in uh, overall heat loss uh, heat removal factor fin efficiency factor collector efficiency exergy efficiency and so on so uh, very interesting let's go for the dryer okay so for 10 kilograms uh, uh, it would take two hours 2.8 hours in order to remove the water contents let's go here uh, as you can see here this is weight of water removed weight of water removed from uh, the feed uh, from the banana banana example okay let me check so, so. okay uh, this is uh, the, the weight of water removed it's about seven kilograms from the 10 kilograms okay as a total uh, product uh, total feed and we have here product mass this is the solids this is your solids um, this is the 10 kilograms uh, converted into 2.8 weight of water in the feed it's about 7.5 uh, weight of solids in the feed is about 2.5 this is 7.5 2.5 and this is weight uh, water weight in, in the product and weight of solids this is weight of solids a vapor mass uh, that uh, uh, vaporized and this is your time okay and for uh, psychometric chart you can um, uh, calculate specific humidity uh, with bulb temperature okay uh, um, outlet air dry bulb temperature so this is outlet air temperature and outlet dryer humidity ratio you can find it and this is your inlet humidity ratio uh, to the system you have to uh, um, don't don't forget to highlight your signals you have to highlight your signals okay and by just one click here let's extract our results suppose I, I need to save this in dynamic mode therefore I have to save this is this result is at um, uh, specific solar radiation specifics it's about uh, I would like to change solar addition and see the effect let's go for dynamic mode therefore I would like to save as um, for example let it be another name uh, this is dynamic mode and save this one so save as don't forget to save as in order not to disturb your uh, uh, original files okay so I would like to change I would like to change and see the effect on my product on my time and uh, on my uh, flat billet uh, solar collector uh, operating conditions let's see if I 
around this. Uh, double clicking here, okay. Okay, put it here. Okay, and let's go for, for the dryer. I would like to examine and see. Set your simulation time into infinity or a specific time or uh, based on solar radiation it changes. It's up to you. Okay, and hit run and begin to uh, 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 switch this slider or move this slider left to right by increasing or decreasing and and see the effect let's hit run first and see let's hit run and open this okay I, I would like just one click and move your keys or arrows uh, to the left okay or to the right keyboard arrows okay increasing solar radiation uh, uh, time okay solar radiation effect okay and let's decrease it a little bit okay okay you can uh, humidity also you can increase humidity let's increase humidity or decrease it a little bit okay it's just an example and hit stop okay let's go inside data inspector okay because we already sent our signals to data inspector highlight here and i will show you how to highlight this one uh, okay just one click here okay and select this one visualize your data or you can go from here and streaming selected to data inspector okay let's go in, uh, inside data inspector and see okay let's go here and um, storage volume let's go for fin efficiency flow factor this is for flappable collector, collector thermal efficiency increasing and decreasing, uh, reversibility rate, uh, outlet collector temperature increasing your solar radiation will increase your uh, increase because I increased and decreased my solar radiation. So as you can see the effect. This is when I increase the solar radiation and this is when I decrease this solar radiation. Um, uh, useful energy. Uh, storage energy is uh, small, very small uh, thermal low power. what is your uh, heat losses this is my heat losses about five uh, watt per meter square degree Celsius let's go for this is uh, water yes this is uh, 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 I think this is humidity this is humidity and let's go for water product weight of uh, okay let, let's go for time this time variation time is varying time is varying the, the drying time is varying vapor vapor uh, increasing and decreasing according to my uh, selections let's remove the, uh, let's remove collector efficiency and put another you you can increase your slots let's more, add more slots uh, add more slots here okay let's go here and see if i add uh, outlet air temperature dry dry this is outlet from the dry, dry, dryer and uh, uh, product uh, because i didn't change the, the mass so there is no effect the mass of the product okay okay thermal low power varying okay you can send your result to data to your uh, matlab figure and draw your your result if you would like uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in our module. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.